I'm Jim Atkins. Welcome to our Fender session. I'm going to tell you how it really is now. Metalhead Jim Kidd was probably listening to a lot of Metallica, probably a lot of Justice for All, probably some Anthrax. I would listen to music for for things I could try. It'd be like, okay, oh, this is cool. There's, they're walking around with octaves. I want to try that. That sounds like something I can do. There's definitely a part of me that still identifies as a 14-year-old metalhead. Like when you're a kid, it's it's like, I got a part for a song, guys. Like, oh, cool. What are we doing after that? Uh, how about this? Okay, great. What are you gonna do? How about? All right, cool. That's a song. All right, we're gonna play it tonight. It's like that easy. Before this world starts up again, it's me and I. We wait for the sun. The kids and drunks head back inside. For the thoughts of small ideas and books I never read. When the girls come talk to me, I wish to hell I had. Bay Casino is a song that we released on our Chase This Light album. It's about, you go into like any music shop or a record store and you'll see posters for gigs of, you know, dudes and bands that have been around town forever. They got a lot of advice for like, you know, how you can make it. I just picture like that kind of a person sitting down, somebody who was really successful, letting them know how, how the music industry is. Sort of like this unearned authority to what it's really like. And they, they kind of don't have any idea. Everyone sounds like their record collection when they start out. You're just having fun. You're jamming on the on the things that you like, that you've 
heard other people do. After a while working with the same people, like you, you do start to discover your own voice for things. You start to learn more about yourself and like what you like and where your, where your strengths are. You become self-aware of the, the melody choices that you're making all the time. As a group, you can either lean into that or you can you could rebel against it and see where that takes you. There's a respect for each other and there's a willingness to explore everyone's contribution. Everybody's like fighting for the same thing. And I think we realize that. It's like the preciousness over an idea that you might be yours, like we're all willing to let that go a little bit if it means that the song or the idea can advance. I was over at a friend's house who played in a band that I was buddies with here in town and he had an American standard telly. My buddy had his strung up with gauge 12 strings that just felt rad. You know, it just felt like super tough. It wasn't long after that I picked up an American standard telly strung up with 12s. <laughs> I've been playing my signature model since 2011. It has everything you need and, and nothing you don't, really. With the P90s, you can dress it up or down. You can make it like super thick and heavy, or you, you can push it more toward the, the more traditional jangly kind of flavor that Tellys are known for. It's a great, versatile guitar. Color ways I try to change Happen now past deep in me the same Of course it must be something else Leading questions I might ask myself The idea for sure and certain was sitting around a really long time with really only the chorus and the, the verse as like a set idea. And there was a concept of having it go somewhere and then come back. We never knew what that was. And it wasn't until we got really in the studio with, with Justin Melville Johnson, who was a producer for that. And you know, he, he encouraged us to go a lot further than what normally would have. 
When you think you're doing something outside your box, you got more room. You might need somebody else to come in and say, no, 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 you, you go, go further. You've done this before. You've been here before. Go somewhere else. My creative relationship with guitar playing is it's just sort of a tool to connect your subconscious with reality. I think my favorite ideas have come from really unexpected places. When I'm not even trying to find an idea, it finds me. I will just play with as little thought possible. I'll fish around until I land on something that sounds interesting, and then I'll just repeat that. And I'll repeat that until I'm no longer thinking about what I'm doing, kind of turning off your thoughts and like seeing what happens. Guitar feels like the fastest way to, to make that happen. This is a song called Something Loud. It is different now, the way people consume music. I think that things can come back in, in fragments and in, in niches really hardcore. And it doesn't necessarily have to be this over, overwhelming thing. You know, like every year there's a new group of 14 year olds see in their first punk rock show. It just keeps on getting replenished and that's gonna look completely different year by year. If you protect the place that the songs come from, I think you can do this a while. I love playing something loud. It's a super fun rock song. I guess during the during the pandemic times when things were sort of shut down, you'd think that someone who, who works all the time writing music would just crank out a bunch of stuff, but it, it was actually really hard. And I didn't understand why. It wasn't until maybe late last year that things started to feel like they were actually flowing again and I could kind of connect the dots and make something that was a riff or a part into more of a, a, a real song. I guess I just started thinking about 
maybe the earlier days in the band and what like touring in a van felt like again. Back in those days, there was nobody there. There was nobody there. It was like us and the, we did month long tours playing for maybe the bar staff and the other band we happened to show up with. There's aspects of enjoying music I don't want to know too much about. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the, the mystery of searching and then finding something I didn't even know I was looking for. The thing that makes any kind of music special is the associations you build with it over time. You could think some sort of musical device or some sort of like production technique is like, you know, ear candy thing is cool, but what really is going to matter is just your connection with it over time. You really got to protect the, the place where music comes from and I think that it should be fun. Like you got to search out the thing that's fun and then go there. Because what are you doing, you know, like otherwise? like what? Go do something else.